टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बिजनेस अबाउट द बिजनेस योगा इन योर चार्ट इन एस्ट्रोलॉजी सी एवरी वन इज नॉट एबल टू अचीव सक्सेस इन लाइफ और इन बिजनेस मोस्ट ऑफ द यूजर्स कम्स टू अस आस्क मी दैट वेदर वी शुड गो फॉर फैमिली बिजनेस फादर बिजनेस और नॉट प्लीज नोट दैट स्टार्टिंग अ बिजनेस इज अ वेरी चैलेंजिंग टास्क इन दिस स्टेज वॉचिंग सक्सेसफुल एंड बिग बिजनेस मैन डेफिनेटली पम्प्स योर ब्लड एंड एम्बिशंस बट फॉर दैट सक्सेस यू नीड टू हैव वंडरफुल योगाज इन योर लग्न चार्ट एंड देर विल बी हैव सम एसोसिएशन एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल कनेक्शन बिटवीन द हाउस इज इन दैट केस यू कैन गो फैमिली बिजनेस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस वेदर यू शुड गो फॉर फैमिली बिजनेस और नॉट so first of all you should draw your chart in on your desktop just take your lagna chart full emphasizes will be on your lagna chart so i am drawing here two charts for the reference point of view so that you can easily understand the tax and tactics so first of all all of you know that the 10th house this house the 10th house belongs to your karma your deeds in the kal purush kundli and this 7th house belongs to the partnership association so 10th house belongs to dates and the 7th house belongs to partnership and association 10th house also belongs to the nature of business and the business which you should do and what kind of business what kind of nature of that business i will discuss in a separate video but in this video i am just focusing whether you should go for family business or not so you have noted down that you have noted 10th house and the 7th house and the third thing is that the second house the second house represents your basic sanskar your voice your earning of family and your extension of family so if there is any connection if there is any connection between the second house between the 7th house and between the 10th house in that case you are eligible to take family business for example for example suppose you have any lagna chart as per your birth chart and suppose this is a gemini astrology this is a gemini kundli 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 the number will be written like this so what you have to note down you have to note down the 10th house lord here is jupiter now who is your uh, seventh house lord again jupiter it can be anyone as per your chart and who is your fourth uh, second house lord is moon so if if jupiter is placed in your chart in your in your second house then you should go for the family business else if this condition is not present if moon is present in your 10th house then again you can go for the family business so these are the parameters by which you can go for the family business second rule is the first rule i am again repeating the 10th and the 7th lot connections to the second indicates family business and if the 10th and the 9th the 10th and the 7th lot are placed in the nakshatra of second house lot then again the family business you can go or if the second house lot is present in the nakshatra of 7th and the 10th house then again you can you can go for the family business this is the basic concepts so if you need any consultancy any advice regarding this concept this question you can consult us by all the method mentioned in the description box about the about us page or you can download jyotishkar veda app or you can visit www.jyotishkar.in or on instagram you can ask free question but share your lagna chart and vimshotri dasha one question we will try as soon as possible but you need to have your patience now the second thing uh, we have discussed about the 10th 7th and your uh, uh, 10th 7th second so you just remember 2 7 and 10 this number remember and you will easily predict the calculation now if there is a connection of your ninth house if there is a connection of your ninth house to the second house this house then again it is mean that you can take father's business 
if this condition is present in your d1 chart or in your d10 chart again you can opt your father business especially for father business suppose suppose in your chart number is 5 written here 6 is written here so lord of second house is mercury so if 5 is written here 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 on 1 one number is written here means mars if you see in your chart that mars and venus both are placed together either in the ninth house in the fifth house or in the king